Larry, you're, you're behind a very important study that I know the nuclear industry is very, very keen on, on receiving. Give us a, 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 a quick overview of, of what, it, what encompasses it and why it's so important in this moment. Well, it's important for power consumers in general that with a diverse source of electricity, including nuclear, is a very important slice of that portfolio, a number of things happen. One is you lower the overall cost of electricity you reduce the variance in costs, which is very beneficial to consumers because it reduces the cost of capital to build all these generating facilities for consumers. So lowering the cost, managing the risk, and delivering to consumers what they really want. They don't want to pay more than they have to for their electricity, and they want their power bills to be fairly stable and predictable. And the key to that is fuel diversity and nuclear is a critical way to deliver that diversity to give customers what they need. Larry, give us a top line learning from this study, a real take home from what you've learned in your, in your research. Well, one of the things we talked about today was the polar vortex this winter really showed us that there's a risk to being overexposed to natural gas. And natural gas is the fastest source of generation in the portfolio right now. So the shale gas revolution was a good thing for power generation, but you can have too much of a good thing. And so we don't want to become overly dependent on gas, overly exposed to the unpredictability, cyclicality, deliverability challenges that can periodically occur. And that's why the most cost-effective way to do that for consumers is to have a diverse portfolio and nuclear is an important piece of that diversity.